I'm doing so bad. I love clothes too much, I think. People, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Josephine. If this is your first time around. Very, very welcome. So today we're going to be decluttering. We're going to be ruthless. We are going to, you know, throw, not throw, sorry. We're going to be donating anything that I haven't used, uh, I don't know, in the last month. So I'm going to be ruthless and we're going to get rid of loads of clothes. And we're also going to tuck away all the winter, like thick winter knits. So if you haven't already, get comfy, get your snacks. And uh, let's go right into it. winter knits and all that. I've dropped a small pile on the floor, like I'm not too bad at it, but it's so hard getting rid of stuff this time. I don't know why. I think it is because for a year I really haven't dressed up. I haven't like, I don't know what I'm gonna use really. So it's like, am I gonna miss this or not? Am I just putting this away because it's not convenient now and because it's not practical? Like, you know, all these thoughts, but I've decided that it's you know, as long as I have space for it, I can keep something. But if I feel my wardrobe being too cluttered and it taking up too much space, then yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> you can see my pug there. <laughs> Sitting up in the stairs. I don't know why he likes to sit in the stairs, but like up. Yeah. We've now come to loungewear and my workout clothes. I need to fix that because I need my own space for workout clothes and what's he doing what's he doing is he going up okay so i'm gonna have to have my own space for workout clothes but you know we're getting somewhere plus also like i have lo loads of sentimental t-shirts and tops and like it's like that like this t-shirt for instance this is not something i'm gonna wear but I love sleeping in it and you know I've washed it so many times and it's so super super soft mm -hmm. and also I bought this when I was working in Mango it was my first retail job you know it's a special time for me so yeah nostalgic Okay, so I have this old, really, really old basket that I'm gonna put my workout clothes in. This bag was in it. This bag actually used to mean a lot to me. Yeah, no, I can't give this one up. I actually love it. I love it still. I love it still. Yeah, so keeping that. Oh my God, I'm doing so bad. Oh no, I'm doing so bad. I love clothes too much, I think. everyone i need to take a break i think i'm gonna call it a night I'm, I'm just gonna i need to you know i've done all the decluttering i feel like so um i'm done actually i'm gonna show you what this is i'm done organizing i feel like and i actually did my boyfriend sort of half like his wardrobe too um so yeah cleared some space he will have a few empty hangers and you know, my accessory drawer is, you know, still quite clean and, and empty. But I'm quite minimal when it comes to, to jewellery and accessories. And I say that and then we look at these, you know, fun pieces like, like over there. But, you know, in general, yeah, I'm quite minimal when it comes to jewellery. Um, this drawer here where I used to have the knitted pieces, 
you know, nice just loads of sweatshirts and <laughs> loungewear. And I guess that is live 2021, people. Um, so yeah, maybe have we, I mean, we don't know how this year's gonna unfold. Um, there might be loads of dresses and skirts here. There might be even more loungewear. We have no idea. So just quickly gonna show you trousers. My very, very boring, boring top drawer. And yes, you did uh, see it correctly. I have kept a few, yeah, you can see that underneath there. And like, this one is like a viscose blend. So I do live in Sweden and like it's still snow outside. So I can't really properly take everything away. And also, even though like if you would have the absolute most amazing summer, even though it would be like 25 plus degrees um, during the day, which would be absolutely amazing. The evenings are so chilly, like, it's not cosy Spain evenings when you sit outside and you're still not cold like all you need is like a, a long sleeve and that's fine you legit like need to sit with blankets sometimes depending on where in the country you are so yeah um I still have these like you know kind of summer knits as I call them so um and then down at the bottom what I did was that I just kept loungewear this is like miscellaneous t-shirts and bits that I just still can't get rid of um loads of loads of t-shirts and then this is going to be my workout drawer so if I get stressed and it gets a little bit deorganized then yeah I just I want to know that in this little basket here is all my workout clothes and to be honest you don't need a matching outfit when you're going to work out so literally I could just pick just a top and a bottom and I'll be fine so like I said I'm gonna gonna take the evening off or oh, off well I'm still off but you know what I mean I'm, I'm gonna continue doing this tomorrow and bring out all of the spring summer pieces um but yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow when the I don't know the, the results are all done <laughs> black in my spring summer wardrobe but well actually i'm all dressed in black today but if you don't know my channel you might not know but i'm obsessed with wearing black items uh during spring summer especially summer i don't know why i have literally no idea why i love wearing so much black during summer i know it's a bit weird because most people like to wear loads of colour in the summer like I do that too sometimes I'm, I'm talking as if my summer wardrobe is all black it's not obviously um I had loads of blue I've got this one that's white and striped in like orange I've got this one which is burnt orange but for some reason I just love black during the summertime I don't know if you're the same I haven't decided yet because I've got my sweatshirts here these are just some lounge bits I think I'm gonna do skirts yeah. This one, guys, do you remember this one? I was obsessed with this one last summer. Off the shoulder, absolutely gorgeous and so, so comfy. I think I wore it like all the time. And so affordable, it's like 10 pounds from H&M. Maybe it was 7 99 crazy cheap. That was well needed. Feels so, so good to have that done now. I haven't like done a wa proper wardrobe declutter, well, for ages, basically. So these are all the items, or clothing, sorry. All these bags, I am going to donate to charity. So I'm just gonna call around and see whatever pickup service I can get. I guess ready to see the final reveal. Now it's just super, 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 duper organized but I'm working with quite a small wardrobe. Now for some of you, this might be a big wardrobe, but let's face it, I am working with a small wardrobe. It's not the biggest wardrobe. I don't have a walking closet. Now let's see.
Okay, so nothing really has changed when it comes to like the, I don't know, organization of, of things, sort of. So always during winter time, this uh, drawer is filled with knits and jumpers and all that. Um, but I don't have that summertime. So here just a few dresses, uh, loungewear and sweatshirts and these are two skirts but this drawer will most likely change throughout the season but we'll see and this is my accessories and, and jewelry drawer that doesn't change anything like during like throughout the seasons uh so what i've done this year which i didn't do last year is that i've hung a lot more of my dresses here because these are the dresses i want to use on an everyday basis. I have a second wardrobe filled with coats and that's why I have like nicer dresses that I hardly ever use. So I want to keep dresses that I want to use on an everyday basis but that I easily forget that I have. Then we've got my blouse collection, my blazers, that's you know normal. The next row we have got all my bottoms. So I did put a few shorts down there as well. It does look a little bit cluttered so I might actually change and put the the shorts up with the um, skirts later on but we'll see but yeah I, I've got a lot of bottoms and trousers then we have all my tops and this one doesn't change too much throughout the seasons either because I do have a few thicker tops that I still like that I know that I'm still going to want to use um like during this spring early spring you know when it still is quite cold so yeah but as you can see there's not much color in my like basic tops and tank tops and then at the bottom drawer what i did was that i took one of uh, the wicker baskets i had and i've now put my workout clothes there now loads of clothes that i do have are in the wash so there are a lot of clothes missing um especially workout clothes but um, this just divides the drawer up much much better then down at the bottom I just have two wicker baskets with just um, some accessories like hats a few shoes I will definitely have to come have to come up with a solution how to store my all my shoes uh, I don't have a solution for that yet so that's gonna be a very very difficult one I'm gonna continue my declutter journey declutter some house bits and all that so yeah just a nice fresh spring starts okay guys that was it for my huge wardrobe declutter hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it i don't know inspiring hopefully if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and join the fam i'm josephine and i'd love for you to come back other than that i hope you have a lovely lovely evening and thank you so so much for watching again take care stay safe bye